Camilla Productions is one of those users who made funny ass content that were inspired by various users who made memes and shit. So I heard that he is inactive until October. Well, it is October now, so he must be returning back to social media. Alright my fellow peeps, without further ado, let's get straight into him. Alright, let's start with his content. His videos are filled with funny dink memes, G major videos, introduction videos for some users, and uh, characters with health bars, which, <laughs> which is very entertaining at most, and other videos that he works so hard on. <laughs> hard on, that's what she said. Alright. So, uh, his start of his YouTube career just happened almost eight years ago, back in October 3rd, October 23rd, 2013. But he hasn't uploaded a single fucking video until October 2nd, 2018, titled David Playing Super Mario Odyssey. Yeah, we know what this game is rated in the description below. So, yep. David is very good at this game, don't you think, peeps? I hope he makes it way to the fucking end or something reach to a hundred percent or over so his video went from an amateur to a pro compared to how time and effort he put on his videos for the past three years god damn see how professional and inspiring his videos that he made nowadays it's, it's just getting entertaining entertaining more and more well it's to, just to dig up the old ones, it seems he made a few plotting on videos of characters getting grounded and other shit. Uh, but I don't know if he does use it like I always do nowadays. Hmm. Well, I could see that uh, Kimbella is right about what Jonah Campbell did, and I'm very disappointed of what Jonah did was wrong, especially that Jonah made fun of people who are disabled. That's disabled shaming. Yeah. That's not cool. Well, his videos that I might enjoy the most is his health bar videos. They seem entertainment, aren't they? Yeah, they give me laughs just, just as funny as fuck as it gets. His most popular video on his YouTube channel is Doritos Reaction My Toe Raging Over Geometry Dash with Health Bars. And wow, it was uploaded the at the first day of 2020, the same day that the angry grandma and Jake uploaded the video name More Dirty Loud Noises Prank on Sleeping Grandma. So what? Uh, those videos laughed my ass off. <laughs> I really, I really enjoyed that shit. <laughs> yeah, isn't that right? So, uh, right now Camilla Productions has over 8,000 subscribers and we will see if he can reach up to 9,000 or even better, 10,000 subscribers. Well, I'll be goddamn. And what do I gotta say about uh, Camilla Productions' avatar? In the in his Truth of Jonah Campbell video, well, I gotta say he looks really cool with that mask on. But if he if he uh, shows himself without his mask, well. I bet that he would look, uh, look cool. Yeah, uh, Camilla Productions with his mask on really reminds me of Strider Hear You, uh, somewhat. And one other thing is that, <coughs> well, Camilla has a community post full of, uh, full of advices and other shit that, it, uh, that he warned us, um, just to prevent us from, uh, getting fucked up or something. Yeah, getting screwed over. Uh, by uh, uh, by uh, watching this video called "Don't Don't Trust This User Term in a Nutshell," and uh, talk about the fighting and drama in this yeah whatever situation it is. Yeah, birthday shoutouts and yeah, I could see that, and it's it's really not that bad. Well, yeah, I hope it's I hope his criticism. Uh, content uh, that goes well is this true well, I could see that so yeah he, he even asked uh, last week that if he should make a video about the Vion community 
Well, I, I would say that it's up to him, but the Vion community itself is just pure old fucking trash. Well, anyway, so in conclusion, Camilla Productions is uh, one of those users who deserve a second chance um, if he comes back in October, which is this month. So yeah, I, I hope that he improves his behavior and I hope nothing gets worse for him. So yeah, go ahead and subscribe to this user if you get the chance. So like I said before and I'll say it again. If he reaches to... Uh, I mean, let's see if he can reach up to 9,000 subscribers or even better, 10,000. Alright peeps, that's all I gotta say.